everybody, welcome to Yesenia Plans. Today we're going to be taking a look at this beautiful journal by Erin Condren. This came in the summer surprise box, therefore it's called the Petite Planner Summer Journal. I will be using this for the entire duration of 2020 to keep track of my memories. Today, I will be sharing with you what I do to keep track of everything that happens every month. So stay tuned. Step one, you want to print out all of the pictures that you're planning to use. So in this case, I printed a total of three sheets that I actually four. <laughs> I will be going over with you this four sheets. We will be cutting out the pictures and placing them according to the month or a particular memory in the book. So the first step is to print your pictures and uh, definitely something that you want to take into consideration is the template. So the journal, at least this one, comes with different templates and you want to know what you're going to put in each page. You also have some space to make a caption in the bottom, which I find extremely awesome. So we're going to start by cutting the pictures and then placing them in the ideal template. So the journal has different templates, so be aware of the templates that you have before printing your pictures, right? So I will be using this template and the other template that I showed you previously. So before I printed my pictures, I took a look at the template and planned around the template so the pictures will fit perfectly in those templates. If I have pictures that are left over, then I will use those pictures for my other planner, which is the hourly life planner, which I also use for memory keeping. So this should be really exciting. I'm going to start cutting the pictures. You should definitely give their uh, new scissors a try. I think they're great, they're portable. So I'm going to um, test them out and I'm going to try to cut everything with these. This is my first time using them um, to actually cut pictures. So I will see how that goes. Just in case, I have these as my backup, but the goal is to use these. I think they should they should work properly. Uh, they're really great, as you could see here. I'm zooming in. They have the little Erin Condren mark, and I think they are adorable. I also love the color and the fact that they are so small. And Okay, you guys, so I'm going to start cutting. I don't like to be uh, super hard or perfect when, when I try to do these things. This is just for me, right? Uh, ideally, I want it to look really nice, but we're just trying the scissors out, so we're not going to be too hard on ourselves, right? And we could always, we could always go back and fix it or cut it a little bit more. So I'm leaving uh, a little bit of space if you're noticing because if I mess up, I could still kind of fix it. So I'm leaving kind of like a, a white um, border around the picture just in case, and then I'll cut that. So I just cut the first picture, and then I'm, go I'm going to fix it, and I will recommend uh, having your glue handy. So this is another item that came in the surprise box that I will be using. Uh, this is their glue and it's really cool. I will show you how it works in a few. I will also have additional glue to assist me if necessary. So let's uh, finish cutting and then I will show you in a few minutes all of the pictures that I cut side to side and we will start pasting them. This is really exciting. Just make sure that you have all of the tools that you're going to use and some inspiration. That's Tony and I in the background. These are the washi tapes that I'll use and the Erin Condren dual tip markers. Their dual tip markers are amazing. If you haven't seen them, uh, definitely check them out and I would consider purchasing them because they're awesome. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. When you're memory keeping, you want to make sure that you have some themes you're taking into consideration. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus in three things. I'm going to focus 
um, in health and fitness. I'm also going to put some pictures from my 24th birthday. So this one right here is from my 24th birthday. Uh, the other one that I'm cutting right now has to do with health and fitness, which is the wellness log by Erin Condren that I started using um, recently. I had purchased it a while back, um, but I hadn't used it that much because honestly, I started exercising in January, but with coronavirus, um, things went downhill and I haven't been keeping track. Um, but now I started running and I am planning to do a little bit of more exercise. I actually order weights, you guys. That is big for me. Uh, the weights should be coming in on Sunday when you see this video. So I'll probably, uh, if those come in, I'll probably show you how they look. They're super cute. I ordered them in Amazon. Um, again, I am just starting, so I got kind of like uh, weights that are not too heavy, but that they should help me um, tone up. So that's the plan. So yeah, so I already cut some pictures here. Again, I printed a lot because the goal is, you know, to keep track of these beautiful memories that I have because I will probably use this journal in the future to look back at all the photos. A lot of these photos you have already seen um, in my social media account if you follow me. If you don't, you should. My Instagram account is Jessenia Plants. Be honest with you, I like these. They're great, but I'm still not used to them. So it feels a little bit weird. <laughs> Again, we, we mentioned that I'm not, I'm not cutting here perfectly. Because what I'll probably end up doing is using using the washi tape um, to to cover the imperfections and also to decorate it. So that's when the washi tape comes in handy. So you don't have to cut everything, you know, perfectly. Some of these pictures have filters um, from Snapchat, like the cake in the bottom. It has a filter. So I will add um, some stickers. To some spreads but other spreads you know the pictures themselves are pretty colorful so I don't think we will need um, stickers all over the spread I will also use the the caption area to write some quotes okay so this is the final result these are all of the pictures so after after you cut your pictures you want to separate them by different clusters, right? So we said we are focusing on my birthday, so that's one group of pictures. We said the 4th of July, so this, oh my god, we, how funny, two cakes. The 4th of July, so we'll have uh, the 4th of July there. And we also mentioned health, right? So we will focus on that. So this is another picture for the health section. This one was for the 4th of July. That's what I did in the 4th of July. This one right here is for my health spread, a before and after. This one was for the 4th of July, something yummy that we made. We actually made um, chicken, fried chicken from scratch. That was nice. This one was during my birthday week. I'm gonna put that there. And then this is an extra item. So I'm super excited. I'm now part of the EC squad. So I'm actually going to put this in the, probably the start of the journal it happened this July. This is definitely a highlight for sure. Buddy, so this is a final result for the memory keeping for my birthday. I really enjoyed the process. It was very time consuming <laughs> because I wanted everything to look a particular way. And that's perfectly fine. That's part of the process. As long as you're enjoying the process and having fun and being creative, I think that's the point of memory keeping. So here I have a picture of Tony and I uh, during my actual birthday, which was June 21st. And we cut a cake, so that was nice. I actually put a picture of the cake. Tony ordered that cake. I love how the cake came out. I thought it was beautiful. I put some stickers that have to do well with the theme. So the sticker says, living the sweet life. I think that this birthday, even though it was a little bit different because of COVID, I really valued it because I actually hadn't seen my family for three months. And I was able to see them for the first time, at least physically, since 
those three months and my birthday which also happened to be father's day and i was able to spend time with my amazing grandfather so that was nice and then when i got home there was this beautiful sunset which we see here at the top i enjoy the spread i also like the quotes that i they put one of the quotes that i put under the sunset was collect beautiful moments life is a journey enjoy the ride i completely agree with that so this is one of the first spreads we're going to take a look at the other two this spread is the spread that i started uh, in july so in july i started getting a little bit more serious about my health and I think this is my favorite spread actually from the three of them just because I was so surprised with the colors, the washi that I use. Please, please be mindful for a spread to come out really nice. You don't have to spend a lot of money, right? This washi, this one and this one with the little uh, limes were actually purchased at the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree has washies Sometimes it's a combination of four different, I think these two came together, four different uh, washies that come together for a dollar. And I think that that is amazing. You're saving your money. You're still being creative. I love how the final look of this spread came out. Specifically this, this quote right here. It says, loving yourself is the greatest revolution and then I put, no one is you. That is your superpower. Sometimes we compare ourselves to other people. And I think we have to stop doing that. I think we have to embrace our journey. We have to love ourselves and to realize that we are unique individuals. And our stories and how we are, that is our superpower. I hope you enjoy this spread. I included some of the healthy uh, habits that I'm having now or increasing. <laughs> I'm eating uh, healthier and I'm actually exercising a little bit more of this. It says work hard, play hard. And I think this picture is great because it's it reminds me that we have to love ourselves how we are. I think this is my favorite layout. I hope you enjoy this layout and that it inspires you to, I hope this layout inspires you to start keeping track of your memories. It's an amazing process, super fun. And in a few months, you'll be taking a look at these memories. This is probably what I'll do in December. I love looking back at all my memories. Okay guys, so this is my uh, 4th of July spread. I love our 4th of July weekend. It was super simple. What we did is we actually made our homemade fried chicken, which was delicious. We had a homemade um, chicken sandwich and we also baked our first cake and decorated it together, which was amazing. And I also did a lot of reflection. I reflected about my roots. I was born in Cuba. I came to the US at the age of six, actually turning seven. So I came June 20th and then the 21st I turned seven. So I have spent the majority of my life at this point in the United States of America and I love the US and I'm thankful for all of the amazing opportunities, all the people that I've met and everything that has allowed me to grow. Nevertheless, I still want to keep my heritage alive and i want to teach my future children about their my roots right and i think that it's just great to take some time to reflect in this spread right here i was actually using my ec planner which as you know it's all that i use right now i will link it in the bottom if you're interested in purchasing it definitely i would recommend it i also filmed a video so i filmed a budgeting video which I think budgeting is really important. I will also link my budgeting book, which I use from the Erin Condre company. And I wrote a beautiful quote here, which I agree with. Too many people spend money they haven't earned, right? To buy things they don't want, to impress people they don't like. Please don't fall victim of that. Um, we have to be very mindful of how we spend our money. And I think we shouldn't, we shouldn't try to impress anybody we have to be happy with ourselves and that's that's really important i had a lovely fourth of july weekend it was really simple we stayed home we social distanced but we still had fun 
baking, making food, and hanging out. I hope that you enjoyed all of these spreads and they, that they inspire you to start memory keeping. Please, if you haven't subscribed, feel free to do so. And you could also click the bell so you're notified every single time I post a new video. I post videos on Tuesdays and Sundays, so you should be able to see them if you click the bell. Subscribe. I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Take care.